So we'll, we'll talk about this case, a 41-year-old male issue of road traffic accident, two-day-old injury, comes with a dominant hand involvement. And this is what I was talking about. This patient did have an axillary nerve involvement. But what you need to see here on plain x-rays, you can see that, so I won't initiate too much of discussion for want of time, but you can see that you have a double contour being seen out here. And this is, which, this is something that you need to look at your plain x-ray as well. Every time you might not get good x-rays, so do not hesitate in ordering CT scans. Sir was asking, what is the need for CT scans? Yes, I do understand that people of his caliber can, can manage anything and everything on table, but I think for, for an average surgeon for us, it is important to have all the pre-op planning, all the pre-op information, because that's what allows you to do, deliver a better result on table. So this was his, this was his uh, CT image. You can see the articular surface is, is split out here. And he's a 41-year-old guy presenting at two days. I, I would dare say anyone would want to replace him. And if I run quickly across the panel, would everyone accept fixation? Fix, 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 all fix. So all right. what is important to see is when you're looking at your axial cuts, where is the depression, which part is involved? Because accordingly, you're going to open up the rotator interval, that is the upper margin of subscapularis, open up the rotator interval, put in your finger, try to feel the step off, elevate the step off from the metaphyseal region, and then do a temporary fixation. You can then see to it that the double contour is, is taken care of in all the images, do your fixation, and something which you were discussing earlier, that if you feel that a fixation is required outside the plate, this was a sagittal fracture which required a fixation out of the plate from an anterior to posterior direction, and that is what was done. So this was just a surgical pearl. Again, like I said, because of uh, want of time, I did not initiate the discussion. But remember, most head split fractures can be fixed. Incidence of AVN is not as high in clinical practice as what is mentioned in, in literature. You will also see that AVN of the humeral head is much better tolerated than an AVN of a hip being a non-weight bearing joint. And usually an axillary nerve involvement is transient and it recovers in most of the cases. A quick one to follow this up, we have last five minutes. 82 year old female, domestic fall, non-dominant hand, no neurological deficit, has been operated in the past for an ipsilateral elbow fracture and has a functional range of around 20 to 110. Quickly across the panel, I'll show you the CT. These are the CT images. Which is options? 80 plus options. Vidisha? Fix, replace, leave alone. I'll give you all Eight, the options here. These 82. Are the 82 more likely towards reverse. Reverse. Replace. Reverse. Okay. okay. Dignesh bhai. Same. I'll go for reverse holder. Reverse. 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 Okay. Takatkar, sir. Takatkar, sir. I think reverse. Reverse. Yeah. Ajit. Multilock. Multilock. <laughs> okay. Chandak, sir. So I'll uh, mobilize. Just mobilized. Conservative, brilliant. Yeah, conservative, conservative, which is still very, very valid here. All right. A quick show of hands. How many would want to replace this? Whatever form, either a hemi or a reverse. Nobody does it, Just so no hands. Quick, no Go show ahead. of hands. Okay, I'll show you what I did. I did a reverse for this because patient was active. I did discuss conservative treatment. Remember, if you feel you can't fix a fracture in an elderly low demand patient, you don't need to be aggressive about fixation. You can very well go conservative, they will get a functional range. She did fairly well, this is her range at around four months, and she was quite happy. You can see she's got a FFD along the elbow, and, uh, but her shoulder has been pain-free, she's quite happy. You can see the tuberosities have healed, and she doesn't have to seem, seem to have much complaints about it.